Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC to do everything DIY and today we have a service call for a Fujitsu split system that has water coming from the ceiling. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today we have a service call for a split system Fujitsu unit. Above the dresser there you can see we have our wall mounted air handler. The issue here is that we were getting a bunch of water coming from the ceiling in this area, making its way down. And I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but this floor is now warped. So you see the cracks, everything's coming up. So the idea here is to clear that drain. The only thing is, look where that unit is. It's First of all, it's really bad that it's inside that enclosure. And how are you supposed to get to that drain? We gotta get behind here, either in this ceiling, or we gotta pull out this dresser and make a hole underneath. And we gotta find that drain line. So the idea here today is to open up and get access. I'm gonna start in this area, as it seems to be right behind. So hopefully I can get in there and somehow clear that drain. We're going to begin by prepping the space by setting up a clear plastic drop cloth. I picked up N95 masks. You do not want to be breathing this in while we cut the ceiling or wall. And here I have two access panels. Really, I wanted a 12 by 12, but it is what it is. I got, I picked up an eight by eight and a 14 by 14, just in case if I need one or the other or both. All right, cover this all up so cleanup is gonna be easy and we're gonna make a hole in that corner. All right, I'm gonna start with the little eight by eight in this area. So let's see, this, the paper here is actually a template. So you can use this and mark your hole. All right, right there looks pretty good. And let's cut this. I actually got the Milwaukee multi-tool Let's see how that works. This is the Milwaukee multi-tool. Let's see how this works. This should make a nice straight line. So unfortunately my battery died for my light so it's charging so I'm using my cell phone right now. Look this is just boxed in here. It looks moldy. It's going to be way too difficult to just try to make a hole in top and try to deal with this. So this, this looks like a no-go. Alright well we're just going to leave that in there and covered. It is what it is. Looks pretty neat actually. So it looks like I'm gonna have to move this dresser super heavy and make a hole in that wall. Okay. All right, that's enough. So I'm thinking to cut here a little bit high up. Drain comes out of this end, so. I'm gonna cut the corners and zip through.
there. That's our drain hose. Man, look how that thing goes down and then loops. Is that supposed to be like a fake trap or something? Sheesh. It's really tight. I wish I had a little bit more opening here, but let's try to work with this space that we have. Got a piece of wood here and a piece of wood here. Good old electrical tape always works, right? Who's gonna notice? It's leaking from the shaft. What a terrible connection. Anyways, let's try to get to the back of this and clear this drain because the way they installed it is terrible and you, you can't really get to this. What a tricky little setup. I also need to make sure that we don't lose this. Let's see. Water there, water there. All right, let's also open up this cover and we're gonna test the water, but we're gonna pressurize through this hole and through the other. We're gonna clear both sides and then we're gonna pour water down and test this. So we get to the coil and we should be able to pour water in here and see a drain. All right, we got a nitro tank hooked up. When I tell you to open it, you open it. Hold up. Go ahead, hit it. Let go. Stop. Okay, I wonder if that did anything. Hit it. Now right, close it. Time. That thing has to be clear. All right, so before I put this hose back together, I want to see it draining naturally. Then I'm going to connect it and then once again, see if it drains naturally. All right, so I'm going to pour some water down the pan. All right, we're definitely draining now. Definitely draining. Okay. I don't like how it goes down and then up, but I would be able to see it draining because it's clear. So let's see if this needs to be adjusted or not. And so I'm gonna pour this basically this whole water down, the whole bottle down. Just to make sure there's no water coming out here. It's not dripping anywhere else, but down the drain. I have to fill up that hose to notice anything. So I'm gonna see if I can pour slowly so we don't overfill the pan like that. See if I can see anything. I found this coat hanger. Bro, how did that even get in there? Ugh. Oh, this dude's crunching up. There's his leg. <laughs> Yo. Oh, boy. This is getting nasty, man. Can we get this guy? Need a little more leverage. There we go. I said he's going to have to come out in 100 pieces. Oh, man. That thing was huge. Oh man, it's so nasty, man. <laughs> of all the things I do. Oh man. All right. Man, I need to raise my prices after this. All right, that thing is out of here. This thing is like warped. I don't know why it just doesn't go on there right anymore. But regardless, there was no water coming out of there. 
whatever little drip that might be here that's from me when i was pouring down the water bottle i don't see anything leaking here either and i just don't see how we can fill up this tiny little pan with six bottles of water and not overflow so i'm gonna say we're good plus when i was pouring water down we saw it draining now oh, this battery is low the only thing that bothers me is this possible trap issue if this becomes an issue i would have to cut open this wall and there's just nothing you could really do about it open this up nicely to where i could get to the bottom over there and we just run a hose straight down straight down because i'm not feeling that trap right now but it seems to be working all right so there's that access panel it's going to be covered by this so that's good and we're just gonna have to put that excess panel back up there but that came out pretty clean and i'm just glad we were able to get this done all right everyone got everything back everything looks nice and clean and we're all done if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week and i'll catch you all next time yeah.